Hey, it's Hockey Day in Minnesota, kind of a big day around the state. You guys are Mr. and Mrs. Minnesota for the day, so why not stop by your guys' house? Hockey family, you, obviously you both grew up playing hockey. Tell us about your start, like how old were you when you got started? Well, I think probably right around three, I think is the age that you really uh, kind of get out on skates for the first time. And I had an older brother at home that needed somebody to play with. And you know, he's the older brother, the cool one. And I wanted to hang out with him, so it was come play hockey. And not only come play hockey, but come sit in the net so I can shoot pucks at you. And I was like, well, this is fun. I get to hang out with them. And sure enough, years down the road, I'm still doing the same thing, taking shots from guys and uh, enjoying it just as I did as a young kid. Felicia, let's get to you now. You grew up a hockey player too, right? Yeah, I did. My journey was a little delayed. I didn't start until squirts, I'd say. My first time skating were like on our outdoor rink at home that my dad would make. I really just like skated on that and then I played basketball and volleyball and then I decided I wanted to play so I played squirts so maybe that's why I was on a lot of B teams but and after that I went to South St. Paul High School and that's where I met Al. <laughs> and then. I probably shouldn't put it on air that she was on a lot of B teams and then, la and then, la and then laughed. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> we can't look at it. This family is only eight. Well, because he. Okay. <laughs> like, so, like, I when I was a Bantam, I played against South St. Paul Bantams. Sure. And it was, like, the guys yeah, in our grade, yeah. like, his friends, but he was on the A team and I was on the. Like, so was the Bs. <laughs> so he always, like, yeah, I would have never played you. I was always on the A team. Uh, no, no, don't put this on camera. <laughs> When did you guys start dating? We were young, and uh, you came in what, seventh grade? Mm -hmm. She came to South St. Paul in seventh grade, and like new girl in school, like wow, look at this, you know, type thing or whatever. And, and then we ended up going uh, strong through high school, and um, obviously the juniors, going to juniors was, that was the first time you really leave home. And then obviously going to college, you're going to different schools. Felicia, four goals scored this afternoon for you. Uh, first off, I guess, just how'd you do it? I, um, I, I felt like I was dreaming after the second period with three goals and then all of a and then I just couldn't stop, I guess. <laughs> I think also like we're fortunate that when I was at St. Cloud State and he was at UMD, our families had a cabin in Aiken, which was like the middle mm -hmm. between the two. So sometimes we'd meet up there. It's just crazy how this hockey world happens and that hockey has just always been a part of our lives and probably always will. <laughs> I mean, now that like our son's starting to play. For me, the kids are so important now that like, and Simon's at the age where he gets it and he watches NHL Network. He comes home and turns on our replay and he knows how many goals I give up every night and, <laughs> and he can keep me humble with that and it's good to come home, you know? So Simon keeps you humble, he comes home, gives you a hard time yeah, yeah. about uh, giving a few up. Has, has Felicia over the years kept you humble? Like has she helped you be a better player? Well, I think it's more so like we go back to playing the puck stuff and uh, from her I'll just hear like, why do you have to go out that far? You know? I think there and, I think there needs to be like a trapezoid in front of the net because I have been known to just turn off games if I see Al in like a foot race to the blue line. <laughs> I, I I will I will briefly turn the TV off because I don't want to see how that ends. Stay locked. Put it right off the stick of Banjapati, a dangerous play there. And now with Simon wanting to be a goalie, a couple weeks ago we talked about how he loves goalie, and I'm like, I don't think that my heart could bear it. <laughs> I think I will have a heart attack if he becomes a goalie because of watching him. And so Al was in agreement with this. Two days later, <laughs> hockey pads, full-on <laughs> hockey pads are at the front door, and I was just like, where did our conversation go wrong? I feel like this part of our journey has meant so much to us because we have all of our support system here. And now we're able to just have, you know, Simon start hockey, just how we started hockey. And he's just like really taking to it and just enjoying it. And I feel like that's, as a parent, that's all you could ever ask for. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about the rink out here, bud? Being goalie. Being goalie? Oh no. <laughs> that's not the answer I was hoping for. <laughs> Simon, how about we play a game, you and me versus mom and dad? Uh-oh. Up to what? 
1,000. Up to 1,000. <laughs> Sounds so like you guys like it. You might be staying overnight. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>